There's a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie coming out this summer, and some people are mad about it online, because of course they are. What are they mad about? They're mad about the character design of April O'Neil, because in the new movie, April O'Neil looks like this. So they're mad about it. It's a totally normal thing for adults to be mad about, right? It's a totally normal thing for adults to be this invested in the character design of a make-pretend person in an animated movie, right? It's a totally normal, healthy thing that emotionally balanced adults would do. What's their problem with the character design of April in the new Turtles movie? I mean, you can probably guess. But if you don't feel like guessing, a few of those complaining are just coming right out and saying it. They made April fat and black. They're not racist, though. The people making this complaint would like to make it very clear that their issue with April's new character design is not based on any racism on their part. Because these people complaining about a character in an upcoming animated movie being black are definitely not racist at all. They just don't like it when the race of a long-established character has changed, that's all. April's supposed to be white and a redhead. Why they gotta change it? That's the only issue here. Not racism. Consistency. I mean, except for the fact that the April O'Neil character has a history of being neither white nor a redhead that goes all the way back to the original comics, and the fact that she's been portrayed as black in more recent Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles projects before this one, and the fact that she's a fictional character and as such can be whatever race and have whatever appearance the creators of a given project want her to have, you racist little nerds, you pathetic, petty outrage merchants. I know what the problem is here, actually. Racism is definitely part of it. So is fat phobia, let's not forget about that. The complaints about the new April are coming from a specific group within the fandom. The angry young white dudes and anyone who makes content hoping to capture the attention of angry young white dudes. And the problem is, their concept of an attractive person doesn't include black people or fat people, which means when they look at the new April, they don't feel like jacking off. And that's a problem, because they count on April O'Neil to be their T-M-N-T-J-O-M. Yes, thank you. I know sometimes I'm a little too hip for the crowd. I'm sure they appreciate being smartened up. Anyway, you guys who are mad about the new April, you just want an April you can jack off to. Am I right? First of all, let me congratulate you for being so open about that. In the past, and even today, to a great extent, masturbation was viewed as something dirty and wrong that ought to be kept secret. But you are smashing that taboo by just coming right out and saying that you like to jack off to cartoon characters. I mean, you're not saying that literally, but the implication is definitely there. And I want to assure you that we all get the message. And hey, good for you. Own your sexuality, celebrate it, stand proudly before the world, and declare, as you already have, that you like to jack off to cartoons. Some of you have been way out in front on this. Last year, you were making a similar complaint about Ariel being played by a black actress in the upcoming live-action remake of Disney's The Little Mermaid. What? No! We can't jerk off to a black Ariel, you said, in a totally non-racist way. Isn't that character supposed to be a teenager? And a few years before that, as if to prove preemptively that it's not all about race with you guys, you complained about the character design of She-Ra in the then new Netflix series, She-Ra and the Princesses of Power. That's what the new She-Ra looks like? We can't jerk off to that! Isn't that character supposed to be a teenager? Here's my problem with your problem leaving aside how fucking eager you seem to be to jack off to cartoon teenagers. My problem with your problem is you've already got your jack-off material from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Who's your favorite April? Which one is it? Is it her? I bet not. Her? It's her, isn't it? April from the classic Turtles cartoon, the one that was on when a bunch of you were kids, I bet. I was a kid, too. I remember the show. I remember this April. 
I was never a huge fan of the Turtles, but I get it. Are you hearing me right now? If this April was your favorite, I get it. But you have other Aprils to choose from, too. Maybe she's your favorite. Or her. Or I bet it's not her. For reasons you have difficulty articulating, but are totally unrelated to the racism you don't have. We can jump to live action. What about April from the first live action movie, played by Judith Hogue? Or Paige Turco, who plays April in the sequels. Is she your April? Because if she is, I get it. Okay? I get it. Or maybe it's Megan Fox from the 2014 reboot. It's Megan Fox, isn't it? You want April to look like Megan Fox. That's fine. I'm not saying you should feel bad for finding Megan Fox attractive. See, this is the point you always miss. Nobody is begrudging you your desire to jack off to anyone you happen to find attractive. The fact that some of them are teenagers and a bunch of you look like you're around my age is a little worrisome. But hey, that's not what this is about. The point you're missing is this. You've got your TMNTJOM already. The version of April you like to jack off to, whichever one she is, she's still there. They're not going to burn the negatives of the 1987 animated series before the new movie comes out. You can jack off to the lady in the cartoon from when you were a kid as much as you want, and I'm sure you will. Maybe there are some people who will want to jack off to the new April. Did you ever think about that? I know it's probably pushing the boundaries of your capacity for empathy to even acknowledge this, but different people have different preferences. Just because you like to jack off exclusively to tall, slender, big-breasted white women, that doesn't mean everyone else does. Some people look at the new April and think she's pretty hot. And some people... I know what I'm about to say will be confusing to some of you, so maybe you'd better sit down, lest you become momentarily disoriented. Some people think that both Aprils are attractive. And... Some people think neither April is attractive. Some people probably think no April ever depicted in any TMNT production has ever been attractive. All preferences, which are totally valid. And, again, take a seat. This might be a challenge for some of you to handle. There are lots of people who don't really judge the value of a given movie or TV series based on how much they want to jack off to the characters. They see the trailer for the new Turtles movie and they think, oh, that looks like it might be a fun movie based on what they imagine the story will be like. Or they think the opposite, that it looks like it's going to suck. But that expectation has nothing to do with what April looks like or how much they do or don't want to jack off while thinking about her. When the movie comes out, people will watch it and they will either like it not like it or feel indifferent toward it, and for most of them, their reactions will be completely unrelated to how strongly the sight of April O'Neil in the film makes them want to masturbate. I bet a few people will even watch the entire movie and not think about jacking off even once. Like I said, I'm happy for you that you feel this comfortable sharing the fact that you really love jacking off to cartoon characters with the rest of us. But don't forget that not everyone likes jacking off to the same cartoon characters that you do. And also, some people watch cartoons and other kinds of shows and movies for reasons besides jacking off to them. So, you do your thing. Jack off to the cartoons you like jacking off to. And stop acting like it's a harbinger of the fall of civilization when new cartoons come out that you don't feel like jacking off to because not everything is about what you like to jack off to. Maybe when you realize that, you'll also realize that you can jack off without being such a fucking jack off. <laughs>